hi viewers welcome to t4u tutorials in this video i'll show you how to take off your boeing 737 flight right now i am in san francisco international i have taxied my flight from gate a10 of san francisco airport i have taxied via taxiway alpha and right now i'm holding shot of runway one left as my atc has asked and um, if you want to see how I taxied my flight, if you want to see the taxi tutorial, you can click on this button and watch the taxi tutorial. Now it's time for me to commence my takeoff, so let me set up my flight for that. I have set my flaps as 5. Um, normally this thing is done before starting the taxiing. I have done it before my taxi so I have set my flaps to 5 this is my takeoff flaps by pressing F7 key 3 times you can set it and next comes the auto brakes here you need to set it to RTO RTO stands for rejected takeoff in case of rejected takeoff the auto brakes will come into action and it will stop the flight on the runway that is if you set your uh, takeoff thrust and if any if any failure occurs you will set back the thrust to idle and auto brakes will break the flight and will stop it on the runway so i set my auto brakes to rto and uh, then i have to go to the upper head panel okay my flight detector should be on okay my flight detector is on now going to the upper head panel i had switched on my landing lights here and as we have complete our taxiing, I have switched off my taxi lights. Okay, so we are ready for a go. Let us get the ATC clearance for takeoff. San Francisco Tower, Boeing, November 737, X-ray, net runway 1, left, ready for takeoff, IFR to Los Angeles. Boeing, November 737, X-ray, cleared for takeoff, runway 1, left, we got our takeoff clearance I'm releasing the parking brakes I have uh, I mean, I'm increasing my thrust a little Let us align with the runway. I would like to tell you about the decision speeds now. We have four decision speeds in your takeoff row. After aligning with the runway, we will set our takeoff thrust. From 0 knots to 80 knots, okay, from 0 knots to 80 knots. I will, I will pause the simulation for some time. From 0 knots to 80 knots, you can reject your takeoff for any reasons. Let it be a major reason or a minor reason. You can reject your takeoff for any reasons. After crossing 8 or knots, 80 knots, that is from 80 knots to V1, you can only reject your takeoff for major reasons like engine failure, engine fire, or any other takeoff, uh, takeoff configuration warning alarms. At V1, uh, at V1 speed, the pilot is committed to takeoff. That is, after crossing V1, he cannot take uh, reject his takeoff for any reasons because he won't be able to uh, full stop on the runway without overshooting it. So, after V1, the pilot is committed to takeoff. V1 is otherwise otherwise called as commit to fly, uh, commit to fly speed. Now comes next comes the VR speed. VR or V rotate speed is a is the speed at which you will pull back your stick and uh, rotate your flight to air to climb. And next comes the V2 speed. The V2 speed is the safety to climb. Sorry, safe speed to climb. That is uh, at V2 speed. Even when an engine failure occurs, or, sorry, okay. Even even when an engine failure occurs, the flight can climb up easily. 
so uh, I have released the parking brakes and I'm resuming the simulation. I'm setting okay before uh, giving the takeoff thrust. You have you have your current heading as 013. So this is your current heading 013. You need to set that heading to your MCP. This is your runway heading. Normally we will obtain this heading from the airport charts, but normally, uh, unfortunately, we don't have this. And our V1, VR, and V2 speeds are normally calculated by the FMC, the flight management computers. But unfortunately, in FSX default aircrafts, we have this thing um, unfunctional, sorry, non-functional. So we won't uh, use FMC. We are cal I'm calculating my own takeoff speeds. I have set my V1 as uh, 150 knots, V2, VR as 155, and V2 as 160 knots. Okay, so we are now ready to go. And uh, before our takeoff roll, I will explain you what we will be doing in this takeoff roll. I will first, I will initially set our thrust to 40%. And I'll wait for my for both the engines to stabilize, and then I will set a uh, ninety percent thrust, which will be our takeoff thrust, and then I will call out the decision speeds here. At V rotate speed, I will pull back the stick and pitch up to fifteen degrees. This is the artificial artificial horizon. Here you have your blue, which is the sky, and this is the brown, the brown color. And here you see you can see two black markers, which indicate your current uh, pitch right now it's a uh, it's in zero which means that your flight is neither your flight is neither climbing nor descending when i pull uh, when i pull when i pull back the stick uh, this will go up and here you have the this li this long line is your 10 degrees and here you see the 15 degrees line up above that we'll be pitching up to 15 degrees or maximum of 20 degrees and as we are climbing up i will say i will retract the landing gears because extended landing gears can cause a lot of drag and uh, as we are climbing we don't want much drag here so we will retract the landing gears as soon as possible at 1000 feet I will retract my flaps to 1 and then at 2000 feet I will retract it to 0 and we will climb all the way up at 2000 uh, after that I will also ho switch on the autopilot button this one I will hold the altitude and I will also set my speed I will also hold the speed button I will increase my speed to 250 knots because below 10,000 feet your maximum speed uh, allowed speed is 250 knots once you cross 10,000 feet you can increase your speed above 250 knots as well as you can retract so you can switch off your landing lights we are ready to go you can release the parking brakes now setting my initial thrust Okay, switch on your auto throttle button. Okay, and now initial thrust set. My engine has been stabilized. Okay, so we can now set our takeoff thrust. Eighty knots. V one rotate and V two. Fifteen degrees pitch. Climbing up positive rate and we will be pulling our gear up by pressing the G key. Passing 1000 feet, I'm retracting flaps to 1 and uh, I can hold the speed button now. Increasing the speed to 
250 knots. Okay, passing 2000 feet, I retract the flaps to zero. My speed is now set to 250 knots. And uh, switch on, uh, switching on the autopilot here and uh, holding the altitude of 9000. And also, as your heading S013, let us contact NorCal departure. NorCal departure, Boeing November 160. You can set your heading in MCP as see the f that the flight is turning right to six zero automatically that is the autopilot is now handling it and this is how you will take off your flight Thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, please comment below. Feedbacks are are expected. I mean, are appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any